Hello, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Um, and today we're talking about how to charge. Um, and I know some of you, this may not sound like the most important thing for you if you don't run your own business, but I think there's an aspect to what I'm going to talk about today that can help you understand why you pay for certain things um, and why some things are so worth it and why some things are not worth it. Um, and, and it's a question I work with a lot of my clients on how to charge for your professional services um, and or how to figure out when to invest in those professional services to run your own business or your own household. So, um, you know, that's where I'm coming from with this, how to charge and how it fits in with organizing. It's because it, it's so connected to scarcity mindset. And I really want people to understand that just by changing your mind a little bit and understanding the whole process, you can really, um, start having an, an easier relationship with your time and your money. Um, and I'm really excited because today is the first day we are trying this live on LinkedIn as well as Facebook. So welcome everybody who's going to be seeing this uh, from now on, on, on both platforms. Um, so what if you valued your time differently, both as um, an employee or a business owner? Um, and this was one of the very first things I ever did to figure out how money worked, um, was that exercise, it, it's talked about in a lot of different financial planning things about figuring out how much you have to work to pay for the thing you just bought. Um, so if you buy, you know, $50 worth of lipstick, how many hours do you have to work to pay for that lipstick? How many hours do you have to work to pay for your rent and your food and your car? Like figuring that out helps you prioritize what you're going to buy and when you're going to buy it. But it also helps you figure out how to think about pricing your services when you work for, for yourself. How do you take that from, as Robert Kiyosaki says, go from that employee to freelancer to business owner to investor mindset? How do you make that progression happen in terms of value? Um, there was a thing going around the internet a few months ago about how to have that conversation about custom services and people always want to negotiate the price for custom services. I don't charge by the hour anymore. And many organizers do. Um, but it's not about the hours. It's not about my time anymore. It's really about the value I bring and the results you can expect from working with a professional the experience, the skills, the knowledge, the tools, um, the planning, the preparing, the professionalism I bring to it, the work ethic, um, there's excellence and discipline and um, many ways of solving the problem, not just the single way of solving the problem. So there's, and then there's the things I've had to put in place, the overhead that doesn't really look like overhead. It's not like a month to month expense, but things like my insurance and my licensing and all the courses I've ever taken to learn the skills to do the work I do with you. So it pertains to all service businesses, right? What are they bringing to the table? You get what you pay for. You know, the old saying, the quick and the good or the good and the cheap and, you know, Really? You can't have good and cheap. You can have quick and cheap. You can have good and, and cheap. No, no good and cheap because you, you will have, you will lose something. It may not be readily um, obvious, but you will lose something if you're not paying for the level of service you would like to have a long-term long lasting result. So know that when, you are requesting a service or you are paying for something that seems priced kind of high than what you were expecting. It may not be that it's priced too high. It may be that your expectations are a little off. So have the conversation with your service providers about what it is that you're really getting for that price. 
um, rather than saying, why should I pay that price? Um, you know, it's, it's way more, uh, you know, you can make a lot more money if you're, and, and save a lot more money and spend less money in the long run. If you understand that valuing for time only takes all the other factors out of the equation. So by all means, pay someone for their time. They're going to take longer to do it. Your results aren't going to be as good. Um, not that some people that don't charge very much aren't great at what they do, but there's, there's going to be something they're leaving out of it for you. So just know that. Um, yeah. So the other thing is when I'm working with organizers to help them grow their business, so often they can't get through that piece of it's only my time. How do you value results? Well, what's the long term of results of getting organized, right? It is uh, less stress. It's, it's all the highlight places, right? There's financial and money results for people. I save clients on average $450 a month um, on their regular expenses because they know where things are. There's health and well-being, no longer stressed out because you know where things are and you are more likely to be on time for things. Um, helps relationships. There's no more nagging and everybody's on the same page about organization and the systems. Um, in terms of your business and career, now you have the time to devote to that and you have good boundaries. So when you're with family and friends, you're more there than um, always splitting work and, and, and home time uh, in weird ways because you don't have good boundaries. And for your future and purpose, are you growing into being a better person? So all of those results come into play. Um, that's why when I say it's about more than just putting things in a container and putting a label on it, those are tasks. That doesn't tie in all these other results that, that are going to help people longer term. So I hope this helps explain um, a little bit about why you might want to look at value pricing your services or picking providers that bring value pricing to the table because you're going to get more um, for less in the long run because it's not about the time. I don't slow down my work. I actually speed it up so that you get more value for the money you're paying, right? It may seem like charging a whole lot for a six month package is it's never going to take that long or that's not very many hours in six months. But what if we actually finish and get you the result you want rather than someone taking eight months to do it, the same thing? Okay, that's what I wanted to say. Also, I have some great, you know, as a business coach, I have great exercises to walk you through if you're looking to learn how to price your services better um, and, and, and move to a, a value uh, based approach to pricing your services. Anyway, I hope this ties it all up nicely for you. It helps both when you purchase services and when you're presenting services um, to your clients. And let me know how I can help in the comments. And I will see you again next week. Have a delightful day.